Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Got a field full of cows there. <laughs> really do. And someone with money problems. Yeah, that's where we ended last time. The Matso family. Matso? Matsu? Matso? Yeah, them. Anyway, um, monthly income of five because she's unemployed, he's a laborer, and Yaroslava is helping out with the chickens right now so she is a laborer as well bringing water to bringing 50 water in okay so part-time work doesn't really fund a family we need more full-time jobs that's probably the story of of this current generation huh <laughs> anyway um one way to solve that is to create a whole bunch of more jobs. Yeah, we'll have to do something about that. While, or in between episodes, I sat here and scratched my head and thought about things. And I find that, well, last episode, I, I worked on this a couple of times. I didn't like what I came up with and, and just kind of walked away from it. But I find that if I can't figure something out first time, it's best just to to set it aside and think about it and when you come back it's familiar and so it's not so new and unchartered but man can i click anywhere and not get a building thank you <laughs> um let's grab something small like a well got a couple of fulling mills in here with access to them so they come out here either walk through grab this one and through to the main pathway or up and over the top farm Three, four fields, hay, a new forester, because we haven't had enough problems already trying to get the second one going. Let's see if we can get a third one to do his job. <laughs> but we're going to need to clear some trees out over here, and rather than make these guys walk in from all the way over here each time, because I wanted to put a, um, a market area in here, but... It just wasn't working out, and I'm still concerned that that's too far away to reach the central market. These guys can do it. I don't know that these could. So I think it's going to have to be a little closer to up in here. And it'd be nice to get... I was thinking about housing out over here, but it might be better to get housing up in this area as well. A little bit closer. We have quite a few extra people right now, especially the Matsos that need uh, need some employment. So if these jobs aren't too far away, they're going to start employing this along with a number of others. So it's not going to take a lot more houses to get all this functioning. It's just a matter of how far away they are. But I think the first uh, job that fires off over here, they're probably going to jump in and make that happen. So in that case, let's give them one more boost. You? No. No, there you are. Let's. Well, you have 750 coming in right now. So you found. Oh, the Taylor's workshop. So Katarina got a job. And. Michael, Michaelo? Michaelo. Michaelo? Yeah, the, the, the language here pronounces the vowels differently than we do. So. It's 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 a it's a roll of the dice on how you pronounce some of these names from an American point of view. <laughs> Yaroslava though is still doing labor work. She is supplying resources for uh, this guy bringing lumber over. Okay, I guess that job is now done, uh, or maybe bringing metal parts over to here. We got the saddlery going again. Ah, there we go. We're waiting. That's horse stack parts are over there okay yeah I'm just kind of fumbling my way around here but first job is to take down the dairy yep we just put that up now we're gonna take it down because it just wasn't working for where I wanted to set the barber surgery so what I did was I realigned the buildings in here I've got the new dairy right up against the back of the school and the barber surgery against all that with no walkways in between gonna make a real block here so all these little walkways that I was trying to salvage in there is what was causing all of the congestion in here 
So we will, and there actually is a walkway right here. It's, it's an invisible part. So I think the building ends right back over there. But um, barber surgery, school, dairy just kind of fits right up back in, in here in line with the, although I wish it could have been out this end over here. This is where the, the cows actually come down. Would have been nice if it was over here, huh? Um, it's a lot more slope there, though, so I doubt... Well, I'm really starting to like this copy building. I doubt that I could... Well, I guess I could have put it over here. So, now we've also got this in here. Hmm. These, these sort of things don't have to stay. I'm not... I don't have a problem with, with moving buildings around later. Yeah, that's that's okay. If it makes things work better, then I'm willing to do so. If, Like this guy. That seemed to work at the moment, but now that I look at it, this needs to be in the background a little bit, not out here in front on our main, our main drive coming in. So this guy's going to have to leave. This probably could leave too, except there's 10,000 logs to work through, so he's... He, we're going to be stuck with him for a while. Though we might make this one our main um, forestry at some point. As we start to move our emphasis away from the starter area. And start getting into the new areas that we're going to be working in. Whatever that is. So it may be that this guy gets left down to, to one person. And they just make firewood for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Until they've used up the logs. Could be. Um, we're taking this one down. It's just a matter of where that one goes next. But we're going to continue working on this one last village house because almost everything is there. Actually, I guess it isn't truly necessary. Let's. We're still trying to get this orchard done, and there's 23 trees left. So that one, I think, gets pushed back a bit. Not, not completed just now. You have 10 trees left. Yeah, we'll push you guys back. We're going to have one working orchard for, for a while. I want to get into the new farm and get that built this winter. So we got at least three fields to be working in. This one's got six trees to take out. But new farm here. And as big as I could make the fields and still have a walkway that or a road that didn't have to go up these these embankments here we get really close you can see that's quite a rise there and quite a rise here so I was able to get the road down here in a fairly smooth area though we kind of roll right in this spot yeah we do wow I almost feel like this should have clipped a little bit lower give a better look to it and I can do that I have the power of the delete tool yeah, and while I was setting these, at first it was so frustrating to say, okay, I want to start in that spot right there, but I had to memorize it because I had to go all the way over here to grab a farm to say, okay, make add a field. And then I realized after I'd done that a couple of times that I could just do copy building. I'm adding a field. Oh, I'm liking that copy building. Let's delete you, and let's take this down a little bit. So copy farm and um, we'll rotate the doorway because I want it over here but it's easier to start at this corner so we're gonna go there come down I want it about so far I don't think I need to maintain this path here though do I let me think about that well yeah I suppose so I've gone to the trouble to make it over here though although it really just does this we could clip it off down here. Yeah, let's do that. So, we're going to be somewhere about there and up, but we're going to come down a little lower this time. So, the road, like I may have to cut that corner out a little bit too. So, like so, and there. I think that would do it. So, rotate is what? R and T? Yeah, right there and click. So this one as well, I'm going to take that corner down. So delete you and grab another one and put you about like so. 
And like that, I want a nice walkway around all of these things. You can get as far as there. Up and down. I think that'll work. Then you're up in here somewhere. Now, let's watch this wagon. Yeah, see how they tip really bad right there? I don't want them to have to do that. It doesn't look right. So parallel is up in here. And... We're heading for there, actually. I think we can get away with that. Okay. So you're there. A little more room for a road now. And... Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll put a tree or something right here to force them to come down low. Okay. So you guys are good. So grab that well again. And so forestry. Other field. Farm. Aiming down in. Can come down into the fields here. Go up into the field there. Or around into the field here. So good access to everything. Hay is over here. Sheep shed over here. And hay storage. It's a bit of a walk to the hay. Um, dryers, but there is nowhere else to do it over here, so without sacrificing a, a very convenient field. So that is what we've got. So these two deal with the wool once we get this up and running. Platform over here could have gone anywhere. I could move it back over closer. It's just that it, it worked out well there. Um, let's do that. You, and unfortunately I can't I guess I could copy <laughs> and bring you in like this. It would sure be nice to see this built. Let me look at that again. Uh, copy you. So you attach with these, well, looks almost like a rope off to the right onto a post, a couple of big ropes, and then some planks that come out to more to another log in the ground up here and one over there too it's kind of boarded into place so looking to see how the water how we're so we can't put a road underneath that that rope here in the corner so the road has to be above it it can't cross through that is a barrier okay so, judging by that, let's just grab a platform. And they're going to walk out of here for most of this water. I guess centered between these two extremes would work well there. Okay. So, it doesn't need to be done for some time. It is only going to be for the sheep. It won't be for any houses. But I think houses need to be kind of up in here. Got the field... Got the forestry, got the sheep, got the hay barn in there somewhere. There you are. So once the road starts to get a little more established in here as they start to build these things, we should see where the natural flow is and be able to start to start building. You know, we've had a few of these wagons coming by. Charcoal. I just got to thinking, what are we selling? I don't remember. And you're still here. So, you're eight more days. I've been running this nice and slow. That's why it's still available. Anything we want to add to this while we still have them? Don't need any more buckwheat. There's no other foods. We could add some... I'm guessing this is like a vodka. But, uh... That's uh, okay. I don't think that counts as a food group. It probably does, but... <laughs> Anyway, we're running, we're running. Uh, demolition is complete the dairy. So what do we do with the other dairy? And these guys have not gone into trouble again. Uh, September, October, they should be able to sell off their cabbages. And their... What would you say that is? Wish I could zoom in more. Nope, nothing is coming to mind as to what that is. Okay, that's obviously cabbages. And that looks like a melon. Almost like a watermelon, but we don't have any. Cucumber? No, cucumber doesn't have big leaves. 
I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, I get distracted easy. Squirrel! Um, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> Had a dog. Oh, I used to love yelling squirrel. She'd fall for it every time. Um, Dairy. You're right near the top, right in there. We could go there. It fit well there. These are... Boy, it's hard to get out of that. I was going to say those are... Those are uh, um, benches from taking trees down, but that's the leftovers from the other dairy. Okay. So, dairy, if we were to come through here, I almost could drop you right there where the charcoal is. And that would work really well. Right up against the, uh, the warehouse. We don't have to have a walkway through. Though, if we did, could we put... Hmm... You're already built and cooking. They're really keeping up with the charcoal now. I almost, I rarely see one that isn't being worked on or, you know, that's a good view right there. The way they make the charcoal is they build this huge pile of lumber, of, of firewood, and and uh, take take mud or, or a clay and, and build this dome around it and light it. And there'll be a hole at the top, a chimney, holes down below get a good fire going once everything is roaring really well inside there they plug all the holes up and just let it smolder inside and now you've got these partially burnt logs in here that are broken up into charcoal and that's a great animation there to show how it works but even this one there's still charcoal left they eventually they bust the the clay away to get to the last of the charcoal but yeah, they're they're all active and they're constantly using all of them. So I guess the barrier, or at least for that one, was that I had no men chosen and and only by uh, by cart. So that was that was a fail on my part. So you guys have run out again. Let's leave you alone until you hit October. I want to see how much you actually get for one good crop of cabbages. Um still staring at this I need you to go away and I can't empty you until the burning process is done I think that this needs to go away I think the dairy needs to go in there so you need to go away before people start working on you okay so dairy is gonna fade on its own right yeah so let's remember to put the dairy back in we weren't actually using it we don't have enough cows to make enough milk to not to overwhelm the houses to have any left over to start making cheese out of it. So dairy was something I wanted to see, but now that we've seen it, we know that it's not super functional until you've got several sources of milk to make that happen. Okay, so all the talking, what are we doing? We're going to get this guy built. Everything's over here anyway. I'm going slow, but that's fine. I have a lot to talk about today. Um, get this one built, then we're going to head over to the farm, get you built before next spring. After that, the barbary surgery was was what I was hoping to get in next. I want to see this done. And we should. Now, what, anything here? Do you have 14 stone? 1,400? Stone. 1522 great so with that 6,000 bricks we've got enough to uh, to do what we need to build this one so we should see that go in this episode the forestry still needs five trees coming out and they're working on them I was gonna say is this what they're working on next two teams going at it cool all right so they're working there then another house we'll see let's pull you aside until I know if a, if a local family grabs that one. Meaning we have finally have enough kids that have grown up that want to marry. In which case I want to make enough houses for them. Um, now something that I heard or read. I don't remember where I came across this. But when kids marry from within. They will take with them some of the family's wealth as a dowry. So, by not taking down the wealth tax threshold too low, I've moved it up to 100 once I, once I read this or heard this. 
then they'll take a chunk of that with them to start their new house. And so they depend on having something in there. And we are running a little bit poor. I'm going to take you down a little bit. Mm, we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one. But actually, we take the land tax down a little bit more. We're doing really good with our trading. So let's go down one more notch, down to 90 cents. Okay. And so the families like this with the smaller properties around them. Uh, Dirkachi. I like saying Dirkachi. <laughs> they're they're getting there. We're into October. Let's let's pause a minute. October, these were to automatic. No, that's right. We're leaving them hired all the time now, except for July or uh, August and March. Okay. And as we get into more of the um, of the orchards needing helpers during July, we might even take these guys down that month too. But right now we're buying from the houses bunch coming in um i want this is the central one so i left full um quantities there whereas this one is smaller maybe i shouldn't we'll see if we run out anywhere the garlic up to 200 there's 38 coming in i think we're going to be okay horse radish is is holding at 35 all right but yeah, I feel like I was in the middle of a of a sentence there and cut myself off. Okay, let him run. Dracachi, that's what it was. <laughs> All right, we have eight thousand and two more. We awaiting twenty. That's weird. Oh, it just took some away. Why did we? Oh, we're still selling it. Oh, interesting. It is still. Maybe that was the last one. There's no more horse, no more uh, wagons rolling through here. Dare I do another run? You can only handle 2429. All right. We, we've overwhelmed you finally. Okay. We'll sell that one. And that one should still be available. Okay. So that of that and that of that. I think that was the last one that just left. Okay. So another 2429 leaving shoes. We've, we can do another thousand. So let's do it. And deal. Wheat, buckwheat, charcoal, chicken, eggs is a no. Sunflower oil is a no. We don't have any more sunflower oil. In fact, we might need to buy some. Are they selling it? They are not. Uh, eight more days. Let's slow you down so I can think without having to rush. Um... Town storage of clothes has been low for quite some time. Ever since I tried to sell 4,400 of them. <laughs> it's been doomed ever since. So what is happening here? Um, we did buy... Oh, we probably haven't received it yet. Um, there. There. Still waiting for the 600 sheepskin to come in. And there's no hint of where the boat is. So are you even... Within our borders, you are, and there you are. Okay, that's on its way in. Great. So that, these guys are waiting for that, but they're also low on textile. We got lots of flax here, so it's just a matter of letting them do their job. Working, there's 20 more coming. And speed jip a touch. There's 10 of it, and she's also working. There's 10 more. Should see another 10 being added to this soon. Yeah, but working and taking a rest is probably part of it. So little by little, a laborer is probably coming in to grab this to dump it over there or something like that. Okay, so slow back down. Clothing is working. It's just very slow at the moment. So we have enough for ourselves and that's it. Dirkachi, uh clothes, honey is... It's starting to roll in now, but we were buying it in order to have enough, so I'm not going to sell any. Apples, not yet. Okay, to purchase. Should we purchase some potatoes? We've got 1700 in store now, so we did plant some. Uh, we did harvest some, okay. So potatoes are sitting in here. 
and from here we should still be able to distribute. Should be potatoes right there. Yeah, so they can go right to the farm and get it. We don't have to move it into a granary. Potatoes, there's 30 over here, and it's the same batch, the same... Uh, so, will we sell to ourselves enough to use all that up? I kind of doubt it. I think it's time to unload a good chunk of those. So, let's do just that. Potatoes... No, 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 no. That is... We have the chance to buy it. Never mind. Sallow... Uh, we have left four days left. I'm going to leave you paused so I can think about this. But I'm curious, whatever happened to that sallow last time? Um, we did not place it in here. No. And it does not go into any of these automatically. Refresh. Nope. Refresh. Nope. So nothing new has been added there. So that went straight into the markets. Right there. There's only 30 left. Did it go into the houses? Seven. Seven. Six. Yep, everybody bought it and scarfed that up and loved it. So let's do that again. Sallow, let's get another 400 is what we did last time. Um, cancel, do that again. Sallow, it takes a long time to wear out, to go wrong, to go bad. So let's do another 400. Just like we did last time. Deal. Alright. Adding food variety. Don't need any more iron. Could always use more leather. Deal. And lime. Salt. Lime. Somebody mentioned this episodes ago. And it was an interesting thing to to note but it didn't really mean anything until I got to see it for myself speaking of we are on that still that second lime layer waiting for another charcoal layer then another lime layer and then light the thing on fire and kind of like making charcoal I guess but these do have a shelf life a, 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 a limit we'll, we'll word it that way um, I think there were four I'd have to go back, but I'm pretty sure there were four piles, and we've already gone through one of them. There's only 9,000, 9,000, 10,000. There's, and these take 15,000 per. We've already wiped out another 10. So there's three rounds of this, and that's it. And then it's done. There's no more. This is not an unlimited supply of lime stone, like the iron is infinite but the limestone is not um, stone itself for all the work to get over here and we're gonna get over here anyway there are limits these only go so long they only get so many buildings out of these so in time I'm sure there will be more maps created for the game this right now we're still in early access we're still hello oh lonely traveler trying to bring 95 rocks back home. <laughs> I did set them at the end of last episode to go off and get some stone, and he's been heading to this batch right here. Why he didn't choose that one, I don't know. But he went over to this one and started picking away at that pile right there. He's going to... This it's a, it's a lonely trip home. It, it Oh, there's another one. Yep. I wonder if they are going to do only stone since it's top of the list. Well, there is five, almost 5,700 sitting in here. So there's enough to finish this run. 5,700. I need 5,700. And there's three shy of 5,700. Now, I don't think we can buy limestone. That's what I'm getting to. Dracachi. They sell lime. I don't remember ever seeing limestone. I'll have to really take a, uh, a a notice of that with all the other traders that come in. But there's going to be a time where I can't buy limestone anymore, which shuts down the whole process. So we're just going to see this here at the beginning of the series, and then it's going to be done. Anyway, with all of that, I don't think we need to buy anything else. Turn it on. 
Cool. Done. And so, yeah, we're not selling potatoes yet. Okay. So I was, I think I was working through all of this when I realized I had a trader. Um, two trees left for the forestry. So houses and a fulling mill. We don't need the fulling mills for quite some time. Uh, house is done. Cool. We're going to start working on the farm now. So fulling mill can wait. This field. Let's move the sheep farm ahead of the fulling mill. And for that matter, the orchards can wait till toward the end too. That's not that critical. Hay barn would be nice to put in uh, even before the sheep farm. They're going to start filling these up fairly quickly, fairly soon, as soon as as they, uh, as this the right season, which is, I guess, next year. So, and we could transfer some hay from the other side. Um, otherwise, we've got a hay dryer that needs a tree taken down. That'll be up in that area somewhere. Other fulling mill. And I'm saying that right, right? Yeah, fulling mill. And the field. Uh, you're just kind of next in line. Field and hay dryer and then get back to the orchards. And that'll all happen a lot sooner once the forestry is in. Okay, so I think that's a good order. But just what do we do with the houses? I think we push these houses off. I think we do. So you go in front of the house. Sheep farm goes next. And then the houses, then the folding mills. Actually, you are probably next. You'll get these six logs by the time we, we build all of these. Okay. I think that's a working order there. Um, otherwise, I think it's probably time to speed this up a bit. How did we do? We're nearing the end of October. Looks like everything has... Now, do we have any raspberries as fr fronts of the... I, some of these I thought were raspberries. Do you have raspberries inside? You do not. Some of the bushes in front of the houses of, of, over on the other side I thought looked identical to the raspberry bushes. Um, but it looks like everything has been cleaned up and sold off. So, pause. What did that do for our family? Not enough. Okay. We just got to get you some real jobs. You've now got the salt works and you've got the tailor's workshop. So there's, and we've probably got more, yeah, 15 year olds are only good for laborers. They don't get a real job yet. So that is income coming in and you've got good foods, but you would never be able to afford the barber surgery, which is being worked on now. Not yet. You're next. Farm is next. Um, yeah, let's get the farm in that way. It's guaranteed. Barber surgery can can happen during the winter. Um, so, what do we do here? We could move you out and rebuild that house and make it bigger. I stuck it here because the entrance is right here for this house. But I guess I could have taken this side and moved it up and over. It's just kind of an awkward shape in here. Yeah, it just, just happened to work out this way. Hmm. But this is even smaller, and you guys have got a hundred. So really, it just comes down to, and you've only got, you got ten. Ah, you've got a thirty-year-old son, and an eighty-one-year-old father-in-law, who is all contributing to the, in to the household here. Okay. Well, there's three in there bringing in an income. All right. Let's help you out twice give you a 10 to keep going and we'll just see how it goes okay so otherwise I wanted to see how these went uh, some variety in there onions garlic and cabbages and horseradish and honey new family is settling in uh, that house right there and you've got raspberry bushes so that's what the raspberries look like right now so slow down, memorize that. A little bit of orange, you know, fall, autumn leaves in there. Doesn't that look a lot like, what was I looking at? Well, these are raspberries too. And that kind of looks like that to me. This does. That's raspberry. I think that's raspberry. But you don't have raspberries in here. 
and you would have had at least a few. You... I take it back, you don't either. It, it all went into dried fruit just like that? No dried fruit? Huh. I don't know. Okay. Water is barely holding. Water is holding really well. So they're concentrating on this one before they head to there. Okay. So more houses. Hopefully these houses, although I am sealed off here, they've got to come out to here. So I'll have to remember to leave a walkway in there, whatever builds in this space. Because I intentionally closed this off so I can force a nice pathway through here. And it looks like nobody ever comes to this stall. <laughs> Why is that? These are all nicely uh, you know, worn down. Because these are more perishable. I guess they use them up and go replace them more often than they do clothing. Interesting. Uh huh. Okay, so speed things up some more. Let's get the farm in. I'm at a little over a half an hour. Farm is happening. Just the thatch left. I haven't looked at thatch in a long time. How you doing way over here? Kind of a, a loner. Still 2,000 and plenty of uh, replacements coming in. And we kept a reserve over here. Another 2,000 thatch. Yeah, we're fine. Um... There might come a time later where I'd want to maybe put thatch in a warehouse out here to get it more centralized. I guess once the the uh, bridge goes in there and probably a bridge out over here somewhere so that wherever we're at later, we can find a, an easy way up through this obstacle in the middle. Um, could come straight down through here, though that's a really wide run. Probably back over here. So bridge there. Bridge there. And then out of this community. And will we ever go this direction? I don't know. If you ever want to play with this map and, and have a nice starter area, there is a lot of land over here. It's all pretty flat and and yeah, this is a, a huge plateau. Good lumber. Clear out the lumber, the plateau just gets even bigger. So it was a really nice starter area up here. It's a long way from everything else. I mean, the stone is way over there. Limestone over there. Yeah, we we, we we shot ourselves in the foot as far as stone goes, but we got limestone pretty close to us. But over here, everything is equally far away. Yeah, a lot of bridges out of here to make this work. Anyway, I'm stalling while we're building that. Um, no laborers have made the trip, but I don't think that happens as late in the year, as far as hay goes. I think that is a June, July time, something like that. There should be none of these that are green, but they've all, they were all done long ago. Um, we've got two crews, there's 230 flowers sitting in there now, because we're maxed out here. No, we just haven't been hauling it. Interesting. But why have we not been hauling it? We're set up for everything. Apply to all. So, 240, 230. What'd I say? 180. And there's no other flower anywhere else now. So, what is your storage... Apply to building... One building, okay. You're capable of a thousand. Okay, so that's actually going to be a problem soon. We'll see. These guys can probably hold a pretty good amount of pounds, amount of weight. So if they run out of room and can't process anymore, they'll probably grab it and go. But here's a laborer. No, you're bringing more, more uh, hay in. And you're almost out of hay. So when you guys run out of hay right there, I would imagine one of you is going to go get hay and the other one's probably going to dump off flour. Unless that require that's only done by a worker over here. That might be it. That won't leave on its own. They have to go get it. That sounds about right. Okay. Anyway. Um Fallow. Let's pause this. So last last season is the end now. That was Fallow. 
this one's going to be fallow this year, that one next year, that one the following year, and that the following. Okay, so our cycle is still good. No, no uh, errors built up into the system yet. These guys, exclamation marks, are for we're waiting for that to happen so I can associate that to them. And this came up last episode that there was an exclamation point here. I had taken this down to just one person. And they're chopping a tree. Oh, they're off chopping trees in the woods up here. Okay. So there are no... Well, where are you guys actually at? No, wait a minute here. You're off to go do something actually important. You're working on this? I was told they will not work on the same project together. No, you're continuing on. And you're continuing on. Wow. These guys are trying to prove themselves. Saying, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll carry our own weight now. There they go. He's going to chop it, drop it down onto them, and off they go. That's a long walk. If we could just get this guy built. So, in the queue, he is next. Message from Dukachi. Um... Hmm. Oh, well. Let them do their thing. I was going to say I had taken it down to one so we could just make firewood. So, just work on these right here with the, the few... With the pile of logs that they had made, putting these orchards in. I was shocked to see they were down to just a couple of logs left. So... So, the exclamation point was that the, there needs to be more than one worker, and I just didn't have another worker in. So, whether that is 18 or 2 or 1 doesn't really matter. If there are jobs for... If there are building projects for them to take trees down, they're supposed to go and do that, but for so many episodes, they didn't. So, that's why I gave up on them. But they seem to be functioning now. We're filling up more of this. The reason I wanted to keep this going was because it does fill the firewood up. And they're using the firewood a lot right now. Okay. What's going on over here? Snow's coming down. So, 1,100. Oh, there wasn't 700 left. There was 700 in. Okay, so there's there's, there's still 3,900 more that's got to go. Um, and less labor is available to do it. Okay, okay. Let's throw another one in. Put you... Where? Well, I don't want the barber surgery, and I want the forestry done. All right, you're going to be third in line. Okay. But yeah, the snow is definitely dropping. We did not have any other trades. I just realized Arkachi's running the timer out on me. So these boats have left. Yep, they're gone. Okay. So Dirkachi, can I still keep going? I cannot. Once I click on that, so we could sell more charcoal, but I do need to be over here. And click. There we go. Still 8,000 sitting in here. Okay, so let's sell another run of charcoal, and thank you. And we can buy stone from them, right? No. It is Balaklia that we can buy stone. Okay. Are we... we got 11 days left, so let's keep that running. So, offering more leather? Sure, let's keep buying the leather as we find it. The charcoal is paying for it easily. Um, right? 68, 80, yeah. Otherwise, I think we're fine there. More shoes? Huh. Well, we are depleting the town storage now. Let's let that set. I think we're okay. We're, we're going to be in that 1500 mark. For a town treasury and we're going to have zero storage if I clip that other thousand in fact let's maybe take that down to 500 if I do that then I can sell you 500 more and it won't deplete any more out of the town let's do that shoes and 500 all right there's another 160 okay so nothing else to sell you though clothes well, the town's up to 50 from 30, so we're, we're gaining, and we're done there. Okay. So that house, 
I'm hesitant. I mean, we do need the laborers to keep this system going. Though it's not critical, but it would be nice to, to see this happen. We can pick up lime if we need it. But it's always nice to make your own. Um, but I don't want a bunch of unemployed people. Laborer granary. And a 16-year-old or an 18-year-old. You have your own house, though. So the 16-year-old is unemployed. Okay, we've got unemployed in forestry. We've got unemployed in small granary. And a four-year-old. A smithy, a cow shed. And you are a smithy also. So smithy runs in the family over there. Yeah, that's kind of like manor lords. Uh, manor lords is going to be interesting. You don't hire a person to work in the forestry. You, ha you hire a family, if, I, if I've got that correct. And it'll be a family occupation. And so, like, the smithy will be run by a family, and the son will take over for the from the father and and the wife does different duties within there and and the kids do different duties and that's that's going to be an interesting game when we get in there it's it's a lot like this but far more intense far more uh, detailed and then also in that case there's going to be more of a sense of other lands other provinces around your your little section of the of the area all underneath I don't know, a duke or a lord of some kind. And my, as far as it'll tilt, huh? There we go. And there'll be warfare. You'll be warring with other provinces. And it's, it's going to be interesting. It comes out at the end of April. So I will definitely be jumping into that game. That's, that one's been on my radar for quite some time. It did come out as a demo about a year ago, maybe a little longer and it was from what i understood i wasn't either i didn't real didn't know about it or i wasn't up and running as a channel again i had taken four years off i think it happened during that that pause but as a demo it um it didn't allow you to save I'm just watching them jumping over that thing so those who did create series on it had to get it all done before they turned the game off so <laughs> hours and hours of recording in one long session yeah okay we do have a farm and when did that happen i guess i was talking so we are working on the barber surgery let's do that see if we can get that one done this episode yeah we're getting about there we are running we're running all right so we have a farm let's grab a manager which requires some education oh, we do have somebody good you're going to work and let's grab don't need a worker yet let's well let's just transfer the settings over and then we'll fine-tune them so apply to all and apply to all but pause before it all hires up on me all right so one person and we are going to have three big fields up and running and maybe a four. So I guess it is a full complement. I guess so. We won't need plows first time through, so we don't have to quickly make that happen. And if I do set up another cow shed, I do want a viable bowl left of our own stock before I turn everything into oxen. So, um... Okay, speed it back up again. Uh, no trader to worry about. What do we do here? I'm not going to try to set these on camera. I'll show you afterward what I did, but there's a lot of math involved. Adding 15% for the plowing in between. Concentrating mostly on sunflower and balaclia. And... Um, the either flax or or hemp down in here whereas I want to concentrate as much as I can on grains over here for the the uh, windmills so I want to start dividing things up and then get the sunflower heading in up here toward the the oil workshop and or move the oil workshop down here that's possible too so you need to be linked to this farm 
and you as well. I suppose the order I did that is the order that it's going to land in here. Farm 1 is over here, yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4 would have been better. I might reverse that later in between episodes. But yeah, that I think that's how that works. So I'll figure out what goes here as far as what the the, uh, the schedule is of, for planting. And that's, that's all going to happen before we plant again anyway, I'm guessing. You are short of something, though. Cannot find enough lime. Ooh. So we need another 310 lime. Do you sell it? Offering lime. You do. It's going to be a while before we have our own. So 228. Um, let's just get $200 worth. 200 gold worth. 1,000. And deal. And we'll see how quickly that gets here. Uh, Balaklia, you sell stone. And what? how much stone... We had just enough stone to get this done, so we're going to be stone empty here for a while. We only have so much stone out there to get, and it's a slow slog to go get it. So, 700. Let's go ahead and get stone as well. But luckily, uh, I've got 11 days left. So stone, let's get 1,000 of you. We'll do the, 10, the, the 1188 deal. The so stone is coming in. Lime, sheep, horse, iron, pig, cow... Yeah, nothing else there is needed. Sell flour? Yeah, I think we can do that again. Okay, so let's sell 800 flour deal. And let's move 800 into here. Flour. 800 temporary. Trigger to... A laborer just like that, and we should see it hit here as soon as a face shows up. Um, world map. You want to buy. Dried fish, how do we finish the year? Not a lot. So I guess we'll keep that for ourselves. Horse tack. There's 12 out there. And it's worth quite a bit. If I were to sell 12... It's 36, so we'll let that build up then. It's not worth the micromanaging there. Okay, so that is it for that one. And I was going to say, look at the clouds, but that's the smoke rising from all the houses. Interesting. From here, it's white, so it's almost steam, whereas the charcoal is black. You can see the difference. Um, where am I now? 50-some minutes. And so we're waiting for lime to get here. So until that happens, lime is white, so we can get up to this point here, and then we're out of materials. So I'm curious. Everything comes to a grinding halt at that point, or does it? No, that's just how far we've gotten. That should be about it. So will they automatically move on to here? Or will they just say, I don't know what to do, i got no lime, just going to sit here. Um, I'll give them a little bit more time. Taking a rest, buying food. They've all gone off to do other things. Let's move the forestry in place. And buying firewood, buying food, supplying resources. So they're starting to bring materials over. Okay. So they did jump ahead to the next one. Or I jumped them ahead, one or the other. Didn't give them long enough to find out, I guess. Okay, so what next? Waiting on the forestry, waiting on Balaklia to show up with our stone, and didn't I buy lime first? Maybe I did, but it's nice we can kind of see our carts now. Uh, wagons, you're buying something. There, are you the lime? You're the stone. I saw another one. No, you're leaving. Okay. No, the lime did get here already. All right. And it is being hauled away. Construction completed on a hay dryer. I mean, in other words, they took the uh, they took the logs down. Marifa? Marifa, there you are. All right. Slow you down. Um, so the lime is available. Hate to shift these guys again. Yeah, I guess... 
yeah, let it run. We'll get them done. You, Marifa, world map, right there. There you are. Buy wheat. Yeah, let's do that. That's going to take us down kind of low. We've got 12 days left. What can we sell you first? Uh, offering demands. Striking out here. Flower. No, I'm not going to touch that. All the flower does go bad. But I don't know if we have... Let's slow down. If we have taken out everything we sold. No, we haven't. So 800 of 800. So they have picked it up. Too bad I can't click and have it go to the cart. So you, flower? No, you dropped off something. So pathway is here. No wagon in that run. So that is the run they should all be taking. You. Stone. Is there anybody underneath you? Nope. So where's the flower? 800 of 800 means it's been loaded and it's on its way. It just hasn't left the map yet to get paid. But boy, I don't see it. Who are you? No, you're still the other one. And you're the other one. Yeah. I don't know if I can sell more flour. I don't know if it's actually left the map yet. And I'm running out of time. So, Marifa, I have seven days left. Balaklia, they're still... It's still on the books, so I'm not going to sell it. I don't think it's real yet. Um, yeah. Warm clothes. Let's see. Demands. Nothing else to sell to you, then. Salt? Ooh, they buy salt. Ooh, okay. So, 3868. I want to copy and... I guess I can do this way. But still, I like to copy and paste. So, 3868. Sell that. And move into here. A line item of salt. Where are you? Right there. 3868. And temporary stock. Okay. So we'll get that coming. There it is. And boy, it'd be nice if the carters would pick that up. I'm sure they're all... They're never all busy. Because there's always three of them on a break. That's what it seems like. What was that last one of Forestry's done? Okay, so I'm going to... Well, I guess I keep it going. Um, you just got to make sure the salt gets here in time. And that's a lot of salt. I guess I could force some of that to happen. Just like 2,000 of it just to get it going. Salt over here is not much. Salt over here. Where is it all being stored? Salt's down here, right? It's right there. Boy, that should go quickly. It should. I mean... All these ladies looking for a job. You'd think that there'd be a long line of of ladies' faces right here, and they'd all just be walking it from there to there and getting paid for it. But perhaps it's these guys that are taking over the queue and doing that. Yeah, I think that's... Now he's going for the cart. He had to get the cart to do it. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was a whole twenty steps, but he had to go get a cart. Okay, so I think we're gonna be fine there. Um, forestry, let's transfer. Let's transfer these orders. No, I can't. It was, it's gonna transfer. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to. Child has been born because it's gonna be a lot of clicking otherwise, right? What is the orders? It's just March and July. Five and three. Okay. We'll transfer that over this way. So, actually August. March and August. Three and three? Or five and three? Let's, let's give plenty of work. We'll let um, the Matzo family. Oh, you, you're, you're with the Salt Works now. And you're holding. I gave you ten and you're at eleven. So you're making it now. All right, so there's enough work for them. They're the only family who's had trouble. Okay, so you guys waiting for a second one to get hired. And 
firewood. I guess that can all. That's right. We take this down to about eight thousand, and that keeps it from uh, overloading the uh, storage capacity. That that worked really well. We've never had that problem come back, and no need for bark at the moment. Though I did set the other ones for two thousand, just to have some in the system for when we do finally start calling for bark. So yeah, that'll be fine. So you guys, someone else will get hired here real soon, but we are going to start seeing a problem with the sewing season. So yeah, I'm going to take you down to maintenance of one. You as well. Where do you set at? You're two and zero. We'll keep one to do firewood. And over here... We will also take you down to one off-season. Okay. And you guys are going to have to come down. We're going to need all hands on deck for two farms. So you're going to come down to one person left just to move parts around or something. Kind of continue last-minute projects and kind of finish it that way. We're into February. Near the end of February, the river is starting to thaw. How are the boats? We're in great shape over there, and we're about dead over here. This hires early. Where are you guys? You're going to work, and you're working. You're not working on anything productive. So, dude, go get a boat. Take an arrest. Let's see if he goes over and gets a boat. If he doesn't, I'm going to force him to, but I shouldn't have to force him to. He should not just sit there. Oh, that's frustrating. So the fishing dock, one person was here. Can't fish in the winter. But I've seen them at the end of February come over and get a boat. So if I force you to repair, will you then get off your tail? No, you are going to wait until March. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'll let you. All right, barber surgery. That's our last uh, goal for the episode, I think. Boy, it looks different in the winter. There you. Wait, did you finish and I didn't know it? You finished. Barber surgery house is vacant. So it's a house. I thought it would be more like an office. Okay. So you act as a house, but you've got to wait for someone of the right talent to either move into town or will they swap from an existing house if we have, I'm going to throw out the guess of, of two of five education, maybe three of five to be a doctor, I don't know. So I don't know if they will swap around in that sense. Or if we are truly waiting for someone to move in. So, barber surgery. Citizens will uh, act as housing and a business for a family owning it. Um, oh, oh, we'll settle in a town with over 200 population. Oh. Okay, so we got to see it. But we're not going to get to use it for quite some time. I see. We got to hit 200 to qualify so February is just ending March everything goes crazy and by then I need to have all these set so I'm gonna pause it there and I think I'm gonna call this one done we've still waiting for someone to jump into the forestry and they won't until April now so that one's just gonna live there but I need to get all these set I need to verify that I really like what's going on here and or swap these out while I still can for something that's not sunflower. Yeah, I think I stopped it just in time. So I got a lot of head scratching to do and a lot of math to do. <laughs> At least this one's starting from scratch. And we did get back to our hundreds. So the cows and the fallow topped it off. Whereas this other one... One of these that we saw that was fallow once, followed out at the end, there was only 80 there instead of 100. So fallow is not a guarantee of complete re replenishment without the cattle. But I stop in here. I think I'm stopping here. Okay. Well, that's kind of a ugly mess with half snow, half grass. 
with that, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, folks.